I'm gonna give you a rundown of my garage. So I come out, there's my truck. I have roof racks. In the bed, I have these drawers. When I open the door, those draw two drawers slide out. I'm sure you've seen them online. It's pretty cool, so I can put stuff in there. Um, so, starting from the top, I got all my painting supplies, cleaning supplies, all that good stuff. Um, there's one of the ladders. Outside, I have about five other ladders, extension ladders, everything. And a little toolbox for my irrigation supply stuff. And let's turn around. We got my Lincoln welder. Here's a little uh, target system I made. I was bored one day. That is my rigid chop saw stand, portable stand. So if I'm out in the job site, I can bring that, attach my chop saw, I mean like my miter saw, and the, the ends ex extend out. Um, there's my chopper. And there's my big Harley, my touring bike, the one I took cross country. On the shelf is just paint, um, painting supplies, my window washing supplies, miscellaneous camping gear, a shop vac. Underneath there I have a um, air compressor. And I got miscellaneous specialty type tools that I don't really use, like a big nail gun, framing nailer. Um, I don't even know what's in these other boxes. So uh, there's stuff when I'm working on my truck or my bike. Come around here. It's all my motorcycle oils and supplies that I can do my tune-ups. There's one of my motorcycle jacks behind there. And then that white cabinet is um, just for my helmets and gloves and all supply stuff. Is this in there? No. Uh, there's my main compressor. I have it hosed through the hole. There's a hose going up to the other side, so I got air throughout the whole thing so that I can pretty much power anything. There's just extra chairs and tables um, just bullshit that my kids won't throw out some extra supplies on the bottom little step stool ladders my ramps for my truck extra refrigerator uh, there's my pressure washer and then underneath that is my generator and then here's all my big pieces where I keep all the excess wood all the large pieces and cut off stuff. Um, and that's about it. Oh, there I got a couple yard tools, some extra gas, oil cans, all that stupid shit. Uh, and here's my creeper for when I'm working on my truck. As I come around the other bay, there's a toolbox from them out in the road, portable toolbox that collapses. It's pretty cool. Uh, shop back. Here's my excess cut off wood shit. It's a mess. I don't throw anything away. There's my um, desk collection system. I have it routed through the whole garage. The black tube goes up, goes up and around, comes down, and it gets all my tools. Everything's hooked up. I even have, have it underneath here. So when I'm working on stuff on my bench, I can rock you know work it there is my rigid table saw with um, my slide made that thing it's pretty cool add this so I can hold material in and stuff like that um, miscellaneous Craig jig and all types of jigs and accessories all my sanders it's like four different types in there. Plus down there, a planer and a sander. There is my chop saw with the deck. So I can hold about seven feet of material and you know, I think three on this side and four on that side. And it's all hooked up to the dust collection. Saws, hand saws, all my supplies, sanding pads all that crap specialty clamps and and then up top are just miscellaneous hole saws blades and 
And then here's all my DeWalt collection. Um, everything 20 volts and 12 volt. Running out of room, I gotta expand this cabinet or this shelf that I built. So, and then under here, there's another shop back. That's stationary, and I'll take that out. And then here's all my nailers, my pneumatic nailers, uh, oscillating tools. What else do I have in there? Um, I have a DeWalt biscuit cutter that cuts biscuits in wood. Here's my workbench. See the air compressor comes, I have it all hooked up here so I have it on both sides of the garage. Uh, these are all my finishing supplies, brushes and chisels and you name it. Um, and just some miscellaneous stuff, specialty stuff in there, in there, all my pencils. Um, and my Ryobi light for doing electrical work and soldering and uh, Dremel and a glue gun. And then um, uh, two vices, one there for wood and then one for doing metal work. Underneath there I got my Craftsman uh, joiner, my tape, uh, router table, metal chop saw on the back. Here's a uh, miter saw that I use for out on the road. It's an old one. I've had this thing since New Jersey. And then I got my DeWalt planer in the back. My Makita is in this box is the uh, plunge track saw. Here's another DeWalt um, jigsaw. I don't use it because I got the wireless or the cordless. And then there's a bunch of routers that I don't use. Um, there's all my screwdrivers and all my bits. Sorry, all my bits and specialty stuff. Router bits. Um, some hand planers. Some uh, dowel machines, that kind of stuff. Screwdrivers, clamps, and I don't even know what's on the bottom. So here is my oscillating belt sander, and it uses these as well, spindles. So I'm sure you've seen that online. Very popular tool, it's worth every penny. My belt and disc sander, my scroll saw, these are Harbor Freight, these two, which are fine. Um, this is my bandsaw. Eh, it's all right. I want a real one, but it did the job for 130 bucks or whatever. Uh, just another, if I'm doing whatever the heck that is. It's for my drill. Drill press, portable drill press. I got two grinders. One that has two wheels on it for grinding. And then one that has a... Um, uh, brass brush for cleaning screws and then a buffing wheel and another small this underneath is um, that red thing on the bottom the red long thing is a uh, it's actually my motorcycle lift so uh, don't take it out too much and above is just supplies for my welding if I'm doing any concrete work I got all my concrete tools and that's a uh, Eastwood plasma cutter, which I don't know how to use. And uh, the first time I did use it, I burnt my table. Uh, here's just an extra stool and a bunch of those. And there's just extra motorcycle parts I'm afraid to just throw out. There's all my charging shit. And then miscellaneous nuts and bolts, screws and nails and washers and gaskets and pieces and nails for my nail gun, uh, heat shrink, all my electrical tools, uh, uh, truck line stuff, and there's more electrical tools. I got my testers and and fish lines and all that other crap. Staple guns, I think I got like six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six of them. God damn it. Um, and then just like torches and extra wiring tape and just a bunch of buffers and I don't even know what the hell I have anymore. Extra grinding wheels and then all these little boxes. Unfortunately they're all the different sizes because I'm an idiot. And then uh, extra wheels. And there's my toolbox. 
Now this is for balancing a motorcycle wheel. Someone gave it to me. Um, here's my quarter band for cutting metal. I could take that off the stand. The stand I welded up made. There's the track for my track saw, the Makita track saw. And then uh, here's my drill press. And I bought this for it. I forget how much it was online. It was pretty cheap. And then I bought this clamp so I can clamp the same when I'm doing some intricate stuff that I don't want to move. That was cheap too. It was worth it. And this toolbox I've had since I'm, oh God, Elmo Park since I'm probably 19 years old. So it's just all miscellaneous, you know, rivet guns, extra blades for all the stuff. Miscellaneous specialty. Allen wrenches, all my drill bits. Um, and here's more supplies, extra motorcycle parts, I have a TV and a radio, and just extra parts. Um, you name it, I got it. Here's uh, extra tools, you know, hammer drills and a little hand vacuum, a body saw. I don't know what, oh, that's a sawzall. I have two sawzalls in here. Now I think, actually I own four sawzalls. And then I got this thing, which is great. It's a uh, shears. Portable screws, they're great. I used them on a project, it was awesome. Um, I have some more angle grinder and a blower for blowing off the bench and stuff. So just that kind of stuff. Um, down between the shelf, I had kept a little room so I can put all my, all my clamps. I have my Craig Jig slides and guides and all that stuff. All my, at the end there is my uh, T-squares and up on top is just extra long pieces of wood and uh, just miscellaneous there's stuff when I'm doing drywall work and I think that's about it dude. there's another angle grinder for my when I'm doing when I'm welding which is more fun than anything but that's about it so now you know all the shit I have in my garage